Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January the 25th of 2021. Well, it is titled Southern Cross over Chilean volcano. So what do we see here? Well, in the foreground, we do see an active volcano. And up in the distance, we can see part of our Milky Way stretching diagonally from upper left down towards the lower right. Now the Milky Way, of course, is our galaxy as we see it from within. Now many of the things that we see here are things that are visible only in the southern hemisphere. You have to be down south of the equator in order to see them and that's because they're very close to the south celestial pole. Now just like there are stars in the northern hemisphere that are very close to the north celestial pole that can only be seen in the northern hemisphere. So things like the Big Dipper are not visible from very southerly locations in the southern hemisphere. Well, there are similar things near the south celestial pole that are only visible from the south from south of the equator. And a number of those are pictured here. And we can go ahead and label some of those here. And we see to the upper left side, we see the Carina Nebula, a great star forming region uh, that exists and where stars are currently forming. And we see the bright red of hydrogen gas, which is excited by those young stars. Just up above the volcano, we see the Coal Sack Nebula, a dark, dusty nebula, which is a region of star formation where the dust is dense enough to block out the light from the stars that are forming. So we can't see what's going on there in visible light. However, in infrared, we would be able to peer through this and look into the nebula as longer wavelengths of infrared light are better able to penetrate the dust. The other thing labeled here is the Southern Cross, which is four stars that make up the cross shape there. And though that is a common asterism in the uh, Southern Hemisphere, much as the Big Dipper is a common asterism in the Northern Hemisphere. And in this case, they are both asterisms that are part of a single constellation. The Big Dipper is completely within the constellation of Ursa Major, while the Southern Cross is in the constellation of Crux. Now it's also used that the two stars, the longer axis of the cross, points out towards the direction of the south celestial pole. So unfortunately for those in the southern hemisphere, there does not happen to currently be a bright star near the south celestial pole. So unlike in the northern hemisphere where Polaris happens to be very close to that and gives us a way to identify the location of the pole. There is no easy way to do that. But one way is to be able to trace out the southern cross and find that general direction towards the south celestial pole. Now, as I said, there's no star currently there that changes because of the precession of the Earth's axis. So our axis does not always point at the same direction in space. And with a period of 26,000 years, it makes a slow uh, pattern on the sky so that it will at some point in the southern hemisphere actually point to some other relatively bright star and there will be a south pole star. However, that also means that Polaris will not always be the North Pole star as well. Uh, thousands of years from now, it will drift away from the pole and there will be times when there is no star marking the North Celestial Pole either. So that was our picture of the day for January the 25th of 2021. It was titled Southern Cross over Chilean Volcano. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.